Yo, what's up guys, Matic back here again, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do completely, completely custom terrain in Unreal Engine Fortnite or in Creative 2.0. Now, some of you guys may think this is hard, but this is in fact very easy, and I'm going to show you guys in this quick little t tutorial. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to head to uh, your content drawer and search material, and then scroll down and then look for landscape, go to material insta instances, and then uh, right click it then create create material instance now you guys can name this whatever you would like press save and then scroll back up here oh yeah matter of fact make sure to clear that but yeah so go to whatever your map name is and then content S double click this and this is where you guys can create your custom terrain basically to change the grass you're going to want to select this 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 color right here now with this this thing right here this does if you look closely here it changes the color at the end of the terrain so where it kind of blends in with the stone it kind of that's the color you'll get so i'm gonna just create like this beautiful red i guess so yeah it kind of ends in uh, pink right there when that saves and then we can scroll back up here and just search pretty much anything also make sure you guys have like a grass image all right so like i just did right here you can search red grass texture or like a cliff texture and there's like a bunch of these options here um yeah so just pretty much download an image go back to unreal open your content drawer make sure you're here and then just press import go to downloads and just click your texture and boom it appears right there so now let's go here and just search up red or whatever your texture thing is named and boom that appears right there and now as you guys can see the top is red instead of green we can scroll back down here and then customize this to however we want it so i think that's good and then for the cliff part now we could scroll pretty much all the way down until we see where it says cliff now select this this and this so now we we can pretty much just search cliffs since there is like tons of um, already made cliffs for us. So me personally, I don't really want to search it, but if you guys would like to, uh, you guys can. But yeah, that kind of changes the color of it. We could go here. And now as you guys can see, this is like kind of purple blue. So we want to pick something like, you know, purple blue here. So like this, we can put that there. And then as you guys can see, this is like a kind of a pink blue. So let me just search up cliff again. And then I'm gonna just pick like you know a random color and let's say I want to change like the color of it or like the brightness I can't I could do that too if I want if I wanted to if I wanted to do like let's say a uh, blue kind of uh, dark like uh, turquoise color whatever color that is you know, and yeah this is what our terrain will look like just press save save selected and now we can close this out we could go to landscape mode go to manage go to new and then now we could remember our name tutorial landscape whatever you name this you're just going to type it up here and boom it should pop up there and just press create you can make this um, however big you would like by the way so just press create and boom your landscape is made now you could literally just sculpt this however you would like it just like normal you could also you know paint it will look a little weird i'm telling you this right now let me just paint Oh, that's because my tool strength isn't all the way up but yeah you could paint um it is a little glitchy with the cliff edge so make sure to be careful with that but if you guys don't want it to like kind of have rough edges you know that's easy just press smooth and you know it'll automatically blend in with the terrain that you uh, created so yeah this is a uh, quick tutorial on how to create a fully custom landscape and uh i hope you guys have a great day to see you